Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Ms. Layla Jihani again. Welcome, dear students. Uh, Inshallah, today we will finish our unit, Unit 2, Life Stories. We will do the last uh, lesson today uh, for meaning and function. function. Uh, if we want to remember what we have done uh, previously in the previous lesson, I told you to do your uh, to write your bio, uh, write a biography about someone famous. Um, who did you write it about? Who is the famous person who was worthy of your writing? So who who did you write about? Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of names: um, King Salman, um, Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The Prophet, um, so one of you I heard uh, said, uh, my father, your father isn't a famous person. I'm sure he's a great role model, but here we're focusing on writing about a famous person and great achievements and accomplishments, okay? Uh, share the biography with your classmates, uh, read, read it uh, um, to them or you can uh, text it to each other so you can have a, extra information, a lot of information, or you can correct for each other. Um, you can send it to your friend so he can correct the grammar, the prepositions, so you will be each other's tutor. Okay, objectives uh, for today's lesson. In our lesson today, what are we doing by the end? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to use time expressions to connect your thoughts. So we will use the time expressions to connect our ideas. When we're telling a story, do you remember when, after, before? So these words, we will use it and we will learn more words today, okay? You produce a cohesive, inshallah, statements in the past tense, so you will um, Write sentences in the past tense in a meaningful way. Ask and answer questions in the past. This is what you will do today, okay? As a conversation, inshallah. Look at these questions. We have four questions here. Where were you the day before yesterday? What did you have for breakfast yesterday morning? Did you go on vacation last summer? What were you doing 10 minutes ago? Yalla, let's do this exercise together. I will ask the question and you will answer, okay? Where were you the day before yesterday? The day before yesterday, where were you? Okay, tell me, in a mall, at school, what else? In the hospital? Salamat. What else? Where were you the day before yesterday? At home? Okay. So we should remember two days ago what were we doing? Okay. What, where were we? The place we were. The second question, what did you have for breakfast yesterday morning? طيب, remember yesterday in the morning, what did you have for breakfast? Eggs? Okay. Fool? Okay. <laughs> what else? cheese sandwich club sandwich okay so these are different meals excellent you have um, for uh, breakfast did you go on vacation last summer remember last summer look back at last summer did you go on vacation yes where did you go to you went to Dubai Kuwait America London Abha Taif Shergiya, Jidda, excellent. No, you didn't. Some of you said no, they didn't go on vacation. Why? What happened? Okay, you didn't have much money, you didn't, you didn't have time. You have other things to do. Excellent. So this is when we are, when we remember what we did last summer. So some of you said they went on vacation, some of you, they didn't. Where, what were you doing 10 minutes ago? Now I'm looking back at the near, past 10 minutes ago what, what were you doing okay what were you doing eating reading writing watching tv exercising these are things you were doing 10 minutes ago okay excellent now 
here are some answers for question one i went shopping with my friends this is uh, the day before yesterday and i had two boiled eggs and slice of bread a slice of bread this is for my breakfast yesterday morning uh, go on vacation last summer no i didn't have the chance to go on vacation what were you doing 10 minutes ago i was watching tv these are sample answers your answers were much better than these so let's look at your book page 21 page 21 you have time expressions for the past we will look first at last yesterday and ago these when you say last do we use last alone no we use it excellent last night last tuesday last week last month last year last summer so we use these last expressions to talk about the past yesterday also you can say yesterday or yesterday morning the day before yesterday this these are the expressions used with yesterday to talk about the past Ago also is an expression used for the past. You can say six years ago, two days ago, a week ago, five hours ago, ten minutes ago. So you can use it with hours, minutes, days, and months, and years. So ago, you can use it with any of um, these times, okay? طيب, look at these sentences. We can make our sentences the one we written before, we can make it longer and better by using the time expressions. Here, the question, where were you T uh, the day before yesterday? We, we said, I went shopping with my friends. How can you use the time expressions? You can say, I went shopping with my friends the day before yesterday, okay? You can use the time expressions to make your sentences longer to make your sentences more accurate. Uh, and here I had two boiled eggs and slice, a slice of bread. You can say yesterday morning. So you, we know exactly when did you have that breakfast. No, I didn't have the chance last summer. You say last summer, okay, last summer. So I know which summer you didn't go on vacation. I was watching TV 10 minutes ago, so I know which uh, time in the past you were watching TV. These time expressions make our sentences more accurate, more, uh, make our uh, sentences uh, more cohesive, okay? We have after last and uh, yesterday and ago, we have under it, the when clauses, we have when clauses. What does clause mean? It's a part of a sentence. It's not a sentence on its own. Like when I, when I tell you, when I was a child and I stopped talking, you will wait for me to continue, صح? It's not a full sentence. So a clause, it's not a full sentence. A clause needs something, another clause to complete the sentence, okay? They didn't go to school. This is the first clause, okay? When they were four years old. So together, these two clauses, we have one sentence, okay? طيب. We have the when clauses. I mean the clause that start with when. So this is the first clause. And this is the second one. We call it a when clause because it starts with when. طيب, sometimes we start the sentence with one, with win, not only in the middle. We can use it in the middle and we can start the win clause in the beginning. طيب, when we use it in the, in the beginning, we have something to do. When I was a child, you have to write a comma. You have to write a comma because we started with the win clause. When I was a child, I used to play with my toys all day, okay? Now I have these two, when I was a child or when I was 10 years old. What do you used to do? What did you used to do? Tell me, when I was a child, I used to play football. 
Now I don't do, uh, do it anymore. What else? Give me other examples. When I was 10 years old, I used to spend more time with my family. This is another example, excellent. Other examples, please think about it. When I was a child, I used to eat a lot of sweets. Now I don't do it anymore. So excellent, great sentences. So also we have under uh, the time expressions and when clauses, we have past dates and times. Yani ish, past dates and time, the dates. And when I say May 15th, it's a date. Uh, also uh, years, they are considered dates. Also the times, I'm saying like eight o'clock, five o'clock, this is the time. We sometimes use it to um, and you, we use it in the past to tell that this event happened in the past. Like when I tell you in 1998, are we in 1998? No, this is something in the past. So we use in 1998, in the 20th century, this is the past. On May 25th, um, 2000, this is in the past. Also, I can say on Monday, okay? Like if, if we are Wednesday today or Thursday, I can uh, say on Monday I had. So I can talk about, uh, say on Monday when I talk, on, uh, talk about the past. So you can mention days. This morning also, if we are in the afternoon, the hen, if, if it's afternoon or evening or night, you can say um, this morning. So we are referring to the near past, okay? At 6 a.m., if it's now 6 p.m., okay? I, I would say at 6 a.m., so it's in, in our near past. Also, we can use all of these to refer to the past, okay? Like, for example, you can say Muhammad was born in 1990. This is an example to use um, the date, uh, year, uh, for, to refer to the past, okay? I have these statements. I have questions and I have um, sentences. I want you to read it, okay? We have on Monday, on Saturday, on Monday. So these are three should be the same, صح? Okay, but sometimes we say on Monday to talk about the past. Monday, we talk about things we are going to do next Monday. How would I know? I want you to read the sentence and tell me which tense is it. Are we talking in the past? Talking about future? Talking about present? Now, what are we talking about? Okay, let's read the first one. Did you write a test on Monday? Did you write a test on Monday? So we're talking about, think about it. The second one, I always play tennis on Saturday. I always play tennis. That's mean you're doing it every Saturday. Always habitual activities, unit one. Okay, this is what? Are you going to write a test on Monday? So is it, are you? Is it past, now, future? Okay. I ate breakfast this morning. So we have this morning repeated in three sentences. Let's see the difference. I ate breakfast this morning. Maybe we're not in the morning anymore because you said I ate. So we're talking about I haven't eaten anything this morning. Okay. I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. We're talking about what? Past future, present. I have here times at 6 a.m. at 2 p.m. So these are times. I usually wake up at 6 a.m. This is unit one, which, which tense is it? We are meeting at 2 p.m. This is a fixed um, arrangement. This is an arrangement for an appointment. So which tense is, should it be? Yalla, let's see the answers together. So the first one will be, they're, they're talking about past because we have did here. It's past. I always play, unit one, it's present simple. Are you going to write a test? So we're talking about 
future. I'm asking about the future. Okay? Um, here, I ate breakfast this morning, past, because now it's afternoon. Okay? Or evening. So we're talking about the past, near past. I haven't eaten anything this morning. So we are still in the morning. So that's why it's present. Okay? I woke up. 6 a.m. this morning, past, it's not morning anymore. I usually wake up present where we are meeting at 2 p.m. We're talking about future, okay? Now let's see this exercise, okay? We have part A, complete the sentences with the correct time phrases. Use the words in parentheses. So he wants you to use the words in parentheses. Halas, you have to make up your own, um, your own, sorry, this is, yes, it's correct. Uh, I'm in grade nine. Can I say last I was? No. You need to go back to these, sorry, to these expressions. These. You have to use these expressions on your book, page 21, okay? So you have to use it to fill out these, uh, this exercise. But when we have in, are we talking about years? Are we talking about dates? Also, it's connected to the previous lesson, the prepositions of time and prepositions of place, on, uh, in and at, okay? We have um, how many? We have 10 questions. Pause the video, think about it. Look back at your book, uh, page 21, and also look back at the prepositions of time we had previous lesson, and then let's see the answers together. Okay, number one, I am in grade nine. Last year, I was in grade eight, because nine, and last year, grade eight. Can I, see, can I say last night? No, last year. The gap is one year from one grade to another. And um, here, they're talking about grade seven. So how many years? Two years ago. They can't say, you can't say ago alone. You can say two years ago, I was in grade seven. This is number one. Number two, I was born, and we have in. In, it should be a year. You can say, I was born in 2000. I was born in uh, 2005. I, can, I was born in 1990, so talk about your, e, your uh, birth year, okay? And you can say, I was born, and we have on. On is the date, okay? So we're looking for a date. The date should be a month and the exact date, okay? June 23rd, May 15th, September uh, 9th, so any date you were born in, write your birthday here. On, uh, sorry, and we have a go. So you should include your age. You can say 40 years ago, or 15 years ago, or 30 years ago. So here you will write your age, okay? What time did you go to bed? We have last, last night. What time did you? wake up this morning so we're talking about last night and this morning for i went to bed at you have at it should be a time at 11 p.m and woke up at also sorry i missed the at here let me write it down yeah here it should be at okay at 6 a.m okay uh, we finished Unit 1 of Super Goal 5 two weeks ago, okay? Uh, let's see the next part, part uh, with 6 until 10. I started learning English. When did you start the when, uh, when clauses? Do you remember when clauses? When I was 11 or when I was 7 years old, okay? I didn't use to read and write when I was six, when I was five, when it depends on you. 
our unit is about life stories so you should talk about your own information your life story eight i started going to this high school in what when did you go to uh, high school did you go to high school imagine if you do if you are you are in high school write any year okay king abdul aziz bin saud founded the kingdom of saudi arabia is this about you لا, this is a fact. This is a factual information. This is a fact. So in the 20th century, I, ca I can't say just Saudi Arabia century. لا. In the 20th century, when did he um, founded the kingdom? The kingdom of Saudi Arabia was founded in 1932, also a fact, on September 23rd, okay, which, is, which uh, happens to be our... National Day, inshallah. Uh, we have part B. Put the words in order to make sentences. We have um, a group of statements, group of statements, and we have, it's scrambled. They are not in a correct order, خلاص? We have to rearrange it to make up a cohesive and understandable sentence. خلاص. So we should start with the word in bold. What do they mean? Do you see these words in bold? Okay. These words, we start the sentence with them. So you can't start the sentence with Olympics, Summer Olympics. لا. You start with Pijin. And here we start with we. We start the sentence with the bolded uh, words. Okay. Let's see. Uh, pause the video, think about it, okay? And then let's do it together. So the first sentence will be Beijing hosted the summer on Olympics in 2008. Two, we wrote a math test on the day before yesterday. Three, Fahad graduated from university when he was 23. Four, Ali was sick, so he didn't go to class this morning. Or you can say, Ali was sick this morning, so he didn't go to class. Both are correct. Five, we have Muna started working as a teacher 10 years ago. Six people didn't use to drive cars in the 19th century. Seven, my parents bought me a cell phone last week. Eight, I made new friends when I started high school. This is how we arranged the scrambled words in part B. For C, this is a conversation. So you should work with a partner. Find a partner if you're at home watching uh, through um, the internet. You can call your friends. You can practice with your siblings, anyone in your uh, house. Uh, work with a partner, ask your partner questions using time expressions in the past. Do you remember last week, last month, two years ago, two months ago? So you should use the time expressions we learn and start a conversation between you and your partner. Okay, this is just an example. What did you do last weekend? I visited my grandparents last weekend. I went to the mall last weekend. I went shopping last weekend. So you should explain what did you do last weekend, okay? Uh, what time did you wake up this morning? So we're talking about this morning. You can ask other questions, not only these. You can make up other questions to ask and practice the conversation using the uh, time expressions, okay? What did we learn today? Today we learned a lot about um, time expressions, how we can make our sentences uh, connected, more cohesive, uh, more understandable. We learned about the when clause, when we put it at the beginning, how, what should we do? So these expressions and uh, time expressions help you to, to talk about your life story. It's a great concluding conclusion for our unit. 
Um, also, you under, uh, we did produce cohesive statements. We had the scrambled um, sen sentences, and we arranged it to uh, complete sentences. Also, we asked and answer, answered questions related to past events. Okay, that's it for today. Inshallah, we will uh, start uh, next class. We will start um, unit three. Inshallah. Uh, see you then. Good luck.